What is up guys, it's Fight Cyclops here. And we're doing a quick tutorial for you today um, on the minecart mine transporter system that I'm using on my um, hardcore survival world. And I showed you briefly how it worked last time um, when we were up at the Iron Golem farm. And this is what I'm using to transport the iron from the Iron Golem farm back to base, um, rather than keep on having to go up and, uh, and pick it up and carry it back. This would just automatically keep transporting the gear backwards and forwards. So basically what it does is when the, uh, the iron golems die and their, their drops fall down into the into the hopper, that hopper is, um, drops into a, a chest which feeds this hopper and then the product goes into the minecart and it sends the minecart off and when it gets to the other end there's a system here that will take the product from the minecart, deposit it in that chest which is back at base um, and then the minecart zooms back to wait for more bits and pieces. So I'll just quickly show you how um, how it works. So just put a few bits and pieces in. When they empty in, off the minecart goes, deposit it back. Let's just see how many it's deposited. One. Any more? There we go. And then they all are. So it basically sticks it and it grabs the items and then it will go back and wait for more product to fall in. And then as soon as it's ready, off it goes, drops off its goodies, and goes back. There we go. Excellent. Right. So it's not that complicated to make up, but I've done the tutorial a slightly different way. Um, I've done it layer by layer. So if you want to don't know, pause the uh, the tutorial when you've done each layer, um, it might be the easiest way. And obviously the, the, uh, the, the mine track doesn't have to be this long. It can be as long as you want, as long as you've got the powered rails every so often to keep the minecart moving you'll be fine. So let's crack on and just quickly show you the first layer. Um, the first layer is obviously uh, a chest and a block. Um, once you've got those down, what you need to do is put a comparator on top of that block, facing away from the chest into another block, put your hopper over the chest, and then whatever you're gonna run your minecart along just comes along here. Then at the other end, when you get to where you're gonna be collecting the goods from, just want to do this configuration so go up three along two and back two um, and then put obviously what i've done here is i just used a uh, a lever just to power the powered rails i'm going to put on so it kind of looks like a big p if you're looking at it that way that's the best way to describe it once you've done that layer um, and you've made your uh, your minecart track as long as you need it to all you need to do then is you just pop another uh, sorry a torch on here then another block then over the uh, the hopper, just put in a powered rail, wacky minecart track down with as many powered rails on there as you need to get the minecart from A to B. Um, but then at the other end, so at the P end, you need to put down two powered rails, a detector rail, and then another powered rail um, on an angle. So the easiest way to do this is just stick a powered rail on top of this block um, and then knock it off because you won't need it afterwards. And then on the actual head of the P, if you like, um, you need to put two comparators facing away from the detector rail that go into a block, then a piece of redstone dust, another comparator going into another block, out the side of that comparator, a bit of redstone dust going into a lever, which you turn on, and then you put another block here, and then a block next to this uh, this powered rail that's on this, the, uh, the angle. Okay, so I'll just quickly leave that for you to to look at if you want to pause it there that'd be a good time to do it once you've got that moving swiftly onwards so the next addition you've got your um, redstone dust on top of the block that's over the comparator and then you put a block over the uh, the um, what do we call it redstone torch and then go back to the head of the P which is where the most amount of work's done the next things you add you need to add a hopper that goes onto the sloped track fence post next to the hopper, a sticky piston that goes into the uh, the fence post that will attract the fence post when the uh, the minecart's full, a comparator facing into the block that's connected to the sticky piston, sticky piston going into that block and then you just put two redstone torches on top of these two blocks at the end. And that's what that looks like. I'll just give you a moment just to take that in. Very easy. Then the only thing you need to do is just add a chest, but I'm not going to build all that again just to add a chest on the top. Oops. Crouch chest. Okay. And then that's what oops, that's what uh, 
that's what takes you bits and pieces from A to B. And we'll just stick some in just to show you that it works. It might come back and then go off again. Yeah. There we go. So that's it's got it's done it twice because it took a bit of time to drop the stuff off, and there's the bits that we uh, that we put in. So that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, I'll just hover over these two areas again just to give you a chance to get the configuration right. There's that first layer, the start of the P. There's the next layer. So you've got three comparators, two redstone dusts lever and three blocks added and then here you've got two sticky pistons another block another comparator fence post and that's pretty much it so there we go i hope you found that useful and um, it's quite a simple system uh, works very well and it just saves you carting stuff up and down from uh, from wherever your mob drops are Obviously, you don't get XP from the Iron Golem farm if you're doing it this way, but you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? So, there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next one.